Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading Leo, I want to take the time uh, to remind you guys, uh, to encourage you guys to put love out into the universe. We are living in very chaotic times. There is major transformative type of energy and with transformation, sometimes it's not in a good way. Um, so I just want to remind you guys to be more compassionate, more understanding, more patient with one another. I think that's something we're lacking nowadays and it's very important. Uh, it's okay to agree to disagree. Um, you know, everyone has opinions and it's okay to be passionate about it. Um, but at the same time, be mindful. Um, so anyways, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of June, 2020. Now your first card here is the eight of cups walking away for some of you guys walking away from a situation or circumstance. You have the Pope card here, which is the Hierophant. Uh, and this is the obstacle for some of you guys walking away from commitment, rushing out of a situation where, uh, perhaps commitment was involved or it was a conversation to take, um, for others of you, it could be that you have just decided to walk out of a marriage. Now you have the Queen of Cups here dealing with water energy, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio type of energy. Doesn't have to be a queen. It could be a male energy as well. You have the Nine of Wands. So definitely someone is tired. Someone is tired of putting effort in a relationship or partnership. You have the Five of Coins. So there is definitely... Someone walked out of a situation. For some of you guys, this could be your partner that decided to walk away. For others, this could be you, Leo, walking away. Um, now, what's on your mind is the Ace of Cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, uh, this could have to do with perhaps you started a relationship without fully uh, understanding or acknowledging that you hadn't moved on or that uh, your partner, or the person you were previously with still has your heart. Uh, so this could have been a situation where you kind of rushed into a relationship because of circumstance um, and finally came to the understanding or the conclusion that you're not really in love with them or that perhaps they're not the right person for you. Now, I do have the five of coins here. So there is definitely someone walking out of a relationship and leaving uh, someone high and dry. Basically, this could be you or this could be your partner. Now you have the four of wands here. So yeah, I feel that for some of you got, wow, you have the wheel of fortune, the knight of, uh, of wands and the strength card. Okay. So I feel that for some of you guys, uh, you could have been dealing with a situation where perhaps there was talk conversation or even you were living with the person, um, and commitment was something that was perhaps offered or put on the table, uh, but the person quickly changed or they no longer want that. And they're definitely giving up or walking away from the relationship. And it could be because there's ties to someone from the past. Now, with the four of wands, what they're telling you here is that, uh, you know, stability or the stability that you're seeking uh, doesn't necessarily mean that is with this person. So what I mean by that is if you felt that this is the person that has brought you the most stability or even looking to the past as thinking that that partner you were with, uh, there was some type of stability, some type of security. What they're telling you here is that uh, things happened or unfolded because they were meant to unfold that way because there is higher blessings coming to you. Stop reliving or stop hoping, Leo. It's time to make your decisions based off of what people are showing you, not what they're telling you. You also have the wheel of fortune. So your, you know, your luck, the situation quickly turning uh, for the better. Now, if you are dealing with a situation where a partner walked out of your partnership or relationship, or even if you were dealing with, as an example, if you've been broken up for quite a while, um, 
And it's always been this situation where you guys kind of blame each other for the ending of the relationship. Your perception of it is quickly going to change. You're either going to acknowledge um, acknowledge that they were just not right for you. It could be that in the past, you've looked at the situation from loving eyes, perhaps because you feel lonely, perhaps because you miss them, whatever the situation may be. What they're telling you is that you got to see things in a practical sense. Perhaps you gave them more than one try, one more than one opportunity to prove to you, and they showed the opposite. They just didn't want to change. Uh, so what they're telling you here with the four of wands is that stability is coming towards you. Unfortunately, it may not come from the partner that your heart is set on. Now you have the wheel of fortune. Like I said, this is the energy currently influencing you. So it could represent. Uh, so it could represent uh, looking at the situation uh, from a different perspective or acknowledging that, yes, it wasn't all that great. Um, and that you perhaps are feeling vulnerable or feeling lonely and, and you're looking at it from loving eyes. Uh, but once you're able to understand and take even responsibility, you know, like self-responsibility, like things didn't progress because perhaps, you know, the partner didn't want to put their part, but at the same time, perhaps there was a lot of growth that needed to happen within you, whatever the situation, your perception of the situation is going to change. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, there is um, quick movement and communication coming through. You have the Strength card here. So you will be able to get through this Leo. Now, if this is you, the one that walked out of a relationship, you may actually be returning or wanting to reach out to the partner from the past. What they're telling you here is that if you were the one that did or ended the past relationship, there is a lot of healing that needs to happen with that partner. So don't rush into anything, meaning if the person is still receptive and they still want you back, don't jump quickly. Ending this relationship to jump to the past relationship because there's healing that needs to happen. And because it hasn't happened as of yet, at least not fully, uh, you're kind of going to go back to the same toxic type of environment. So it's important to take your time. If you are thinking of going to the past, uh, like I said, go based off of actions, not words, Leo, and stop reliving the past. And that could even indicate that perhaps going to the past is not something you want to do because the person is still dealing with, uh, you know, understanding or going through their life lesson as well. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope this gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.